Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is an Electrolux Mondo 5105 vacuum cleaner. It's one that I've had for a few years, don't use it very often. Um, my sister was using it and it kind of died, is what she said. It kind of lost. When you plug it in now, it doesn't start, doesn't make any noise. So I'm going to have a look inside and see if I can fix it. So starting off at the back here, there's this little door, there's a filter in there, and there's two screws, one here and one here, so we get them out. Then, if you open the handle there, there's the bag in there, let's take that away. This one, I like it because it's got a reusable bag, so you can just open that plastic thing on the end and empty out this bag. There's another couple of screws here. I don't actually know if I need to take all, I don't think I need to take out those handle ones. I think I need to take out this one down here. That has a counterpart on the other side. One of these, I think, was a special screw with a special, like a Torx bit with a pin in it or something like that. This one here had a Torx head on it with a, like a safety pin in the middle. It was difficult to get it out, but I managed to do it just with a regular screwdriver, so easy peasy. Pulling that up then, inside we've got the on-off switch up here. There's a slider there that comes on this slider. And there's a warning light somewhere, I think. No, no, this button here, actually, is what it is. There's the other button there to, to operate that retract reel for the, for the cable. There's a filter on the back there. I think I'm going to disconnect these two. I think it's just a straight push switch, toggle switch, so it doesn't matter which way around they go. Don't know if that's true or not. Aha, there's the safety screw that I had. So you can see there, it's uh, if we can, it is, it's a Torx with a pin in it. So this motor unit is held in somehow. No, it's not held in at all, it just sits there. Okay, so we pull that out, it's got cables coming from somewhere to somewhere, so just wiggle it out, it's gonna come. There's the reel, so you can take that out and unplug that one there from the reel. And this should lift out, and that's it. So there's the motor unit. So there's the motor unit. On this end, there's a filter. Let's get that out of the way. It's a bit dirty, but it's not too bad. It's got four screws around it. On this end, we've got, that's the impeller. There's a rubber seal there, so foam I think it is. There's little rubber feet in here and here that rest in the machine. There's four screws all around on this one. Lifting that off and having a look. Take this carefully, shake it upside down. There's a selection of treasures there just fallen out. That looks like some kind of dust, black dust that, but that is a shard of metal. I'm not sure where that's come from, so let's see how we can get on here. So there's the motor. And it just has a brush on each rubber, rubber bushing mount on the back. There's a heat sink in there for that, it looks like a triac or something, motor speed controller unit. I'm not sure where this piece of metal would have come from. I don't know if it is a stray. I guess what we could do is just apply power here and here, see what happens that way. There's probably a temperature sensor in there, an overheat sensor. That could be blown. So when I applied 220 volt electricity, some of the arcing was just from the bad contact, but inside there was a lot of arcing. Now it did spin up, but it looks like there's a problem with the brushes, which is eminently possible. So let's have a look in there. These don't look like they're meant to be replaced because they've got single time twists on them.
Now, that's your problem there. Brushes are worn down to nothing. If you can see that. Okay. They're absolutely, they're absolutely dead. Like, there's nothing there. It's right down to the copper. So that's... Let's take a look at the other side. Whoa, that's the real problem. That brush is completely missing. Look, it's just turned, if you compare it to the one on the other side, it's just, uh, it's completely fallen apart. So a lot of this carbon that was in there is, is so this is, uh, that's the, the dust that was in around the motor. That's just carbon dust. It's uh, completely fallen apart. They're, they're not soft. I wonder how it was working at all. Yeah, they are. Look, that's just breaking in my hand like chalk. So those brushes, they've probably been in a damp atmosphere or something like that. They're just dead. Can it be fixed? Well, uh, of course it can, because you can get replacement units. Is it worth it? I seriously doubt it. Like these will be about 30 quid on eBay. Hard to know if 30 quid's worth it. I don't imagine. Well, I, I wonder if you can get the brushes. I, I will look it up because they're just crimped on here. There's just a very small crimp there uh, on the brass. So you'd have to uncrimp it. It looks like that goes straight through to the coil windings. Not a particularly complicated thing, but uh, we'll see if I can get a part number. KCL2312, that might be a date code. Or that might be a date code there. Let's we'll see if I can get parts for them. And if I can, there might be another video. But for now, this is just an autopsy of this Electrolux Mondo 5105. So just as an afterthought, I wasted a bit of time looking for these brushes on the uh, internet. Couldn't find them. The motor's about 30 quid. This machine is getting scrapped. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.